Hey everybody, it's Amber from Seasonal Living and today I wanted to talk about our morning time or morning basket. Um, we are a Catholic family so we try to incorporate um, some Catholic things within our morning time. Uh, these are things that you know might get missed otherwise um, that I felt important to include in um, our day and the best time I found to do them was first thing in the morning everybody's gotten breakfast or still eating breakfast we get up we just kind of um, mosey around and collect in the living room and we enjoy our morning time together and um, so I definitely have to give credit to Pam Barnhill who um, has the morning I think it's the morning basket website I can't remember the exact name but I'll try to link it um, she has fantastic ideas. She has entire lesson plans for seasons for, um, you know, different times of the year. It's, she does an amazing job. So I have to give credit where credit is due. And she actually has a few lesson plans that are Catholic specific. So I'm going to share those today and some of the things that we've added. So what I've basically done is put any lesson plans that we're going to do for say maybe that month or that season and I print it out and just slap it in here. So it's all at my fingertips and like I said she's got one for fall so this is the one one of the ones that's in here and she goes through each subject um, each thing you're going to do and there's um, there's hymns there's verses there's art there's music there's poetry, um, all different sorts of really valuable things in my opinion. And I just sort of, I just sort of highlighted the things that I thought would be important to us. And I just followed that loosely through the week. You know, if there was a day we couldn't do it, I was not going to stress over it. I really wanted to enjoy that time and keep it as relaxed and um, nice as possible. So I am just going to go through what we did on a typical week. So um, every day we would do um, a verse and try to trying to memorize a verse and I would just take it for as long as we needed to, um, usually at least a month. Um, I, I'm not really used to memorizing verses, but I really wanted my kids to have that um, in their memory. So I would usually just take the verse that she would give for that particular lesson plan or if there was a one specific to our Catholic calendar, uh, I would use that one. Then we would move on to our daily readings. Um, these are the Catholic readings and I got them from EWTN.com and I'll again try to leave links for where I got certain things. And this would just be our gospel reading for each day. So I'd either have me read it or my daughter read it. And that was really, really nice. Um, then we would move on to our saint of the day. And you can actually get that from franciscanmedia.org. Um, they have each day they have another, a different saint they talk about. We also have these books, the different book of saints. Um, that we can just pull stories from. So that was helpful too. I actually keep all of our materials in this basket. I got it secondhand. I think it's a longer burger basket um, from Virage Sale. And I love it. It's a great size for big, you know, tall books and a lot of stuff fits in here. So that's where I keep all of it. Um, sometimes we would also use for our saints um, the, the names that we're given um, when we're baptized. Um, my one daughter's middle name is Gabriella, so we would use her um, saint oh, maybe on her birthday or a special day for her. We would learn about her saint. So after our saint of the day, we would then go into doing my oldest daughter's devotion. And we use this book this year, Teen to Teen, 365 Daily Devotions by Teen Girls, for Teen Girls. And we actually really enjoyed this one. Um, it just kind of gave a short story for or from a teen from a teen's perspective so it kind of and it gave a verse for that day so it kind of gave a different um, perspective on um, on the devotion for her after the devotion we would actually move into um, the coloring Bible journaling and this year we used uh, my creative Bible and my daughter loves mint so of course we had to get the mint one so she would just highlight the verse of the day that we got from the devotional 
and then she would color anything that was, um, you know, kind of stood out for that day that was on maybe that page. And she would use all sorts of different things. She could use stamps, stencils. She used different markers and highlighters and just kind of kept it fun. So it, it was engaging, but still enjoyable. So after the Bible journaling, we closed that part out with our Catholic prayer and my husband actually made this for us and it's just kind of a basic prayer um, but it also asks for certain saints to pray for us ones that are meaningful to us are um, our Christian name saints um, saints that are you know over education things like that so this was sort of what we use and also I forgot to mention that in our green binder or green folder we keep a list of values that as a family we have come up with that are kind of our priority and where we want to keep our eyes focused um, when it comes to learning about God so on Tuesdays we follow um, the morning time curriculum and we do poetry. So there's all different kinds of poetry that's included in her um, lesson plans. So we'll do a poem, we'll do a hymn, um, whether it's the hymn that comes from her curriculum or a Catholic song. Um, and then we'll do a sort of any type of miscellaneous activity or book that maybe I have pulled from her lesson plans or um, one that I just think would be fun for the kids. And this book also we did throughout the year. It's called A Year Full of Stories. And I would just kind of um, plug this one in on that same day. So on Wednesdays, we would do our picture study. Um, you can either follow um, on Pam's uh, lesson plans. She has picture studies that you can, you can do, um, you know, artists and the, the famous works and learn about them and the history and the composition and all that. Um, or what we did some of the time was use the Catholic um, art, which is very plentiful and very historical. And I love that kind of stuff. Um, so we went to LoyolaPress.com under the arts and faith um, drop down. They have art basically for the whole liturgical year. And that was really, um, really neat to get to see the different artwork that is in the churches and what it means and who did it and the story behind it. And um, it was just really, um, really a rich a subject to learn about. And then Thursday, we would do some kind of art piece ourselves. So again, we would pull a lot of it from her curriculum, from her lesson plans. And it usually went along with the season, which yay, um, or anything really, just something that we kind of want to learn about. Um, or a different type of medium that we want to learn about, whether it's oil pastels or chalk or different types of paint or clay. Um, there's a whole world out there of things you could do. So then Friday we would do our music study and we would use um, what they call squilt. It's S-Q-U-I-L-T. I think it's silent and quiet <laughs> or no. Yeah, silent and quiet, uninterrupted listening time. I believe that's what it stands for. And so you listen to a piece of music and you draw what you hear. You go over the, the bass, the tempo, the rhythm, the patterns, all the different elements of music. And we would have a different piece each week. And then we would learn about the composer. And our library actually had um, really good books kids books on the different composers and it kept it interesting and fun and um, so that was really really fun too so we would round out our week with that so I kind of did certain things every day and then I broke it up into each day of the week we're going to do something different and it it was really really special to me that was my favorite time of the day to have the kids together and we did our read alouds oh forgot about the read aloud I almost forgot to mention, to me, one of the best parts of morning time is our read aloud. So we would take 10 to 15 minutes and try to read about 10 pages of whatever book we were reading. We read a few different books and it was difficult because I was trying to reach my middle schooler while still trying to keep it age appropriate for my kindergartner. And there's not many books that 
meet both of those criteria, <laughs> but we actually read quite a few of the Rush Revere books. They're um, historical fiction and they're funny, they're informative, and they're a series. So you go along with Rush and he goes back in history with his time traveling horse and it was really fun. I think it was our fourth book now that we've read by him. So those I totally recommend. Um, and there's, uh, you know, a million different books you could read. So that was something we did every day. So again, like I mentioned, we did certain things every day and then certain things were broken up by the weekday. And some days were special because my husband was home. So on those days, we would do a similar thing to throw in doing a rosary. And um, that was that's obviously something that's Catholic specific, but anyone can do it. Um, but that was really nice to kind of bring us together as a family. And so um, that was just such a nice time in the morning. Um, it was still quiet. Everybody was still a little sleepy. <laughs> the day hadn't completely gotten started yet, but we started it with so many good and beautiful things. So um, I hope you got some good information from this. Let me know if you have any questions about where I might have gotten something. And again, I have to give credit to Pam Barnhill because she pretty much helped me plan out my morning time and my morning basket. So I will try to leave as much as I can um, below and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Mm -hmm.